Senate Bill 1, Joint Committee on Workers' Compensation. One by one, Governor Martin O'Malley, along with House and Senate leaders, signed more than 100 bills into law. House Bill 281. Bringing one of the most difficult sessions in recent history to an end. Everything that got, everything that was done needed to get done. Uh, there was nothing, no signature item out there that was left outstanding. Nothing. One of the most far-reaching bills signed today brings Maryland in compliance with new federal health care law took a big step forward on health reform as we're setting up the health benefits exchange, which will be the marketplace for Marylanders to buy affordable uh, health insurance. Democrats say this year's session was very successful and positive, but there's another side of the story. Oh, I, I disagree with them. It was a horribly contentious session. Republican Delegate Susan McComas of Hartford County says Democrats are trying to paint a rosy picture of one of the nastiest sessions she's seen. It was very little bipartisanship, quite honestly. So it was, it was uh, the Democratic way or the highway. While the governor had a number of victories, he did come up short on several major projects, including offshore wind farms. Those are big issues. They still are ahead of us. We made some progress on those this session, but more remains to be done. But O'Malley applauded lawmakers for working out a budget fix. Uh, I think the biggest story of this session was a story that got very little ink over the last two weeks, and that was how this General Assembly came together in order to close a $1.4 billion gap. And I mean, they do have the power, and I understand that, and I understand we're a small minority, but at the end of the day, we're all trying to do what we think is what is best for Maryland. And the 188 lawmakers will get another shot at making it work next session. In Annapolis, Talia Price for CNS-TV.